I can't wait to talk to Ken until I finally got to fire up some questions yeah. tonight. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, win number 122. Uh, what does that mean for you? Yeah, it means I've been here a while. That's what it means. You know, I mean, uh, fortunate enough to, to coach a lot of kids that uh, that are good hockey players and have good character. That's what it means, you know. And uh, uh, you know, just more thing of longevity. I think been at one place lucky enough to be at one place for a while. Let's talk about the power play. I mean, it's good. What is it from your perspective? Where I mean, you're clicking all season long. But what are, what are you doing that's drawing those penalties? Because you guys seem to be getting a chance. Well, I mean, we, you know. Uh, I thought we got a lot of pucks and men to the net. When you, when you get pucks and men to the net, you're going to put the, you know, you're going to put the other team in stressful situations and, and sometimes force them to take, you know, penalties. Um, so I, I think that helped us a lot. I think if you win races to lose pucks too, you know, that that, that forces the other team uh, to hand a little bit. So um, I thought we did a better job of that this week, and I was very happy about that. And uh, you know, it, it just it. it uh, I thought the other thing is that uh, we kept answering back, which is good. You know, we score first, and they make it 1-1, and then we kind of get a bounce. Uh, they make it 2-1, but they make it 2-2, and then uh, then we bounce back. And I thought we played our best hockey in the third period. I was really proud that we could have gotten frustrated. We hit three posts, uh, but we kind of stuck with it and just kind of kept getting pucks to the net. So Yeah, you really, I mean, they tied it at two, and the shots, I believe, at the time were roughly 17. Yeah, I thought we did. I mean, I thought we, uh, I thought we did a, a good job getting to the dirty areas. And if we're going to be successful right now, scoring that's, that's kind of what we had to do. And I thought we did that. I mean, you know, the, there were a lot of pucks laying around there and second chances that their that uh, their goaltender did a real good job of. So um, that's what it took. You know, I, mean, I was happy with the way the guys turned it up. Special getting six goals on a penalty kill unit that only allowed six coming in for a year, number one in the country. They were good on the kill. I mean, I think a lot of our a lot of our goals were broken plays. I mean, they, they kind of took away they took away um, you know some areas that we like to exploit, um, but we we managed to kind of get a lot of you know broken play goals tonight. You know, and, and we were kind of fortunate in that to get some broken play goals, and then we just kind of tried to keep it simple and get it down to the net. You know, Luke's goal there was just about getting it down to the net. He got one whack, two whacks. Yeah. Uh, that's a down play. We used to not have the team, so it was unique because it seems like our down the hill. Did you look at the upcoming non conference games out west as a, a true, the truest test as far as the non conference? So well, playing Alaska in Alaska opening night, mm -hmm. you know, off of them coming off an NCAA appearance, you know. Uh, I mean, their teams, you know, still finding themselves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, with Minnesota beating Duluth last night, you know, we're gonna have our hands full to go out there. And Western is is a team that's that seemed to beat all the good teams in their own league. You know, if that if they'd ever beat them, they're right there with them. So uh, certainly, I mean, we we need to, uh, you know, I, I believe we need to kind of put our our stamp on this first half a little bit. We need maybe a, a quote unquote maybe a signature win, you know, so to say. But uh, but that being said, I mean we're playing good hockey, we're winning games, and that's you know we're just gonna keep trying to do that. We we had a tough league schedule with five to six on the road, and we made we made through the league schedule in our first half over 500, and now we have a, a lot ahead of us in the second half. It's interesting you mentioned the signature win because RPI kind of has one of those commitments for you, and I don't know how much you got to see that before. Oh yeah, I watched, I watched some of that in the office. It was a great win for our league, a great win for our league, you know. Thought York held strong for him, you know, um, and certainly, you know, that's what I was kind of thinking is that, you know, our, our uh, all of our signature games are more on the road, you know, at Alaska, at Western, at Minnesota, um, so we kind of have our hands full a little bit with that. So we're gonna have to have good goaltending in those games. Seth likes to talk about you guys, still, and I think it's when you're talking about his team, he says that he finds it hard to believe that you're not a top ten team right now. And don't you agree that there's there's really little separation? I don't know. You know, I don't do the voting. I, I, I think um, I think right now we're just, you know, I, I, I'm measuring our standard at, at Yale right now, you know, how they kind of uh, beat us up, you know, and, and uh, 
you know, one of the goals that we made after the after the weekend is, is that we play them again and we want to see which team improves the most. Uh, you know, I kind of liken the situation to the uh, the Jets Patriots there. You know, where the Jets beat the Pats in week two, but the Pats came back and you know answered the bell pretty good. And they they've improved during that time. And uh, there's a lot of hockey to be played. Um, and you know, we're, we just we need to improve because our league clearly goes through Yale. You know, and uh, and I think there's. You know, Princeton, Clarkson, uh, our, ourselves, uh, you know, RPI, Browns in there. There's, there's a lot of teams that are mixing it up, you know. Um, can we be in there? Certainly. And then you look at the national picture, and, I, you know, I personally feel there's like eight teams, you know. And then, then there's a whole group of 20 of us. And, and I think those eight teams, you know, have something, you know. I think the 20 of us is going to be who wins the most games, you know. And, and I, I think we're in that path. Did you bury a game puck from the old game in the ice that Rex Ryan did with the Jets? Is that what he did with the football? He took the ball and buried it. No, you know, I, you, you just, you just, you have to, uh, you have to admire the pat the Patriots and Bill Bill, Bill Belichick because he just, you know, he's going to put his head down and work. And, and if you look at the separation, you know, uh, to me, I think it's impressive because you know, Rex Ryan kind of, you know, likes to talk and Bill Belichick likes to put his head down and. Uh, that, that seems pretty high to me, but you know, 